Hey, what's up, guys? Big knife day today in my in my house. Uh, just came out that uh, four blades were delivered today, so it's kind of big unboxing day. By but uh, I'd rather do a kind of first impression video than just plain unboxing. I wanna you know handle the knife before I talk about them a little bit at least, even if for a couple minutes, but at least get some kind of idea. What should we start first? I'm gonna start first with this one because it's my favorite. I'm in love with the RAM, so finally the red version came in. Oh, it's it's beautiful blade. The red is gorgeous. It was factory second again, so 35 bucks is a steal. It's awesome price. The black with the red comes. It, they fit together. It's my two favorite colors, red and black and orange. I like orange too, but it's a gorgeous combination. Uh, this one, the blade was in perfect condition. There was no scratches, no rust mark. There were a clip, a clip had uh, one screw screwed on uh, crooked, so and the, the back scale had uh, two screws, the two back screws screwed on crooked, so it was uh, sticking out. So I guess that's that was the reason, but it took me literally 10 seconds to fix. You know, unscrew and set the screw to the correct angle, angle straight on, and uh, just fix it right away. So, really perfect buy. And I don't know if you remember, I said I'm gonna lighten up the knife. I was gonna do it on the black one, but I decided to do it on this one because this is gonna be the one I'm gonna carry, so I might as well try to lighten this one up. And uh, here's what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six nice holes. It didn't do miracles, but it did light it up a little bit. And I probably will keep the scale off because it looks pretty cool seeing those holes and uh, and it will solve also the problem for the for the TDU pens you know that smaller pocket clip this will work perfectly it does work perfectly I tested it so lighting fast let's check the weight uh, the black one is un, un, you know unmodified is 355 3.55 ounces this one is 3.29, so that's not bad, guys. For a uh, what is this three and a half inch plate? I think if I remember right, I think it was three and a half. Oh, no, three and a quarter. For three and a quarter inch plate, aluminum handle is 3.3. Isn't that bad? It's pretty lightweight and it feels awesome in the hand. So that's a big, big, big uh, addition, uh, addition to my collection. I love it. Another one, I've been hesitating to the, about this knife, you know, it's a legend, but it just doesn't, didn't crank my wheel, but I have to say, I, I got it because I found it on pretty good sale on Amazon, it's supposed to be used, but probably somebody just returned it, they didn't like it, there's no, nowhere, nothing, it's brand new knife and it was a couple dollars off, so, you know, I bought it. Now I see why the blade is so freaking popular, it fits in the hand really good lightweight nice shape nice blade shape this is the really good steel i think this is the same steel like on the on the ram and it's awesome steel so i totally understand now why is it so popular it fits in the hand really nice a flipper i found out that i have to give it a little flick but this opening the gravity it's pretty sweet flies right open so so I'm definitely gonna carry this for a bit. I wanna try it out how it how I like it. I'm gonna swap the clip. So Kershaw and let's see what my weight says about the Kershaw skyline. Let's see two and a half, two point five four five five. That's amazing. That's really light. It's very nice. Like I said, the shape it doesn't really talk to me. But it's a good knife, it looks really nice. Another Kershaw, I picked up a couple of the Kershaws because I'm very satisfied with uh, what they are coming with, you know, what, uh, what they offering for the price. Again, a factory second. This one I honestly don't know why is it factory second, I didn't find any mistakes, any faults, any, any scratches, any blemishes, so I have no idea. Uh, it's a Kershaw speed bump. Really big, nice knife. Uh, just from comparison, and check this out, guys. Zero tolerance, O200, and Kershaw speed bump. It's almost identical. It's really, it's a big blade, and it's uh, <coughs> almost 
almost half of the half of the weight of the O200. Well, this is much nicer, much more beautiful. But this is a nice knife. Very interesting recurve. Really, really deep one. Nice straight uh, edge going towards the back from the belly. Very interesting. It reminds me of some kind of bird. I don't know why. Why the always bird comes to mind when I see the knife. Very comfortable in the hand. It should be pretty good. I'm gonna change it for a. Uh, with the uh, with O200 as a as a tactical knife on me not tactic I don't like using the word tactic as a backup blade you know if something happens and I want to pull out a bigger knife for some reason I'm gonna try to switch this one see how it carries one downside is it has uh, only one position pocket clip uh, tip down right hand this is the the lock you can uh, you can secure the blade with uh, against opening. Put it back down, flies open. I want to do show you something. This is a comparing. Look how this one opens, yeah? How fast? Check this one. Non assisted, assisted. This guy is faster. Totally kick ass. Awesome knife. Another one interesting thing about this one is the locking mechanism. Check out that one. The thumb stat and the blade stop also acts as a blade, blade lock, locking mechanism. The thumb stat is on, on a small spring built in the blade and it, as you pull, pull it up jumps between that le uh, behind the ledge and locks in its uh, hex hexagonal shape. So you know the straight edge of the hexagon, of the little hexagon fits nicely to the ledge and uh, keeps the blade locked. Uh, very interesting locking mechanism feels pretty good when opening, you know, like, uh, comes pretty naturally. And uh, literally, I handled this knife for maybe 10 minutes. Comes, comes so pretty naturally to do. Like, it isn't, it's not something awkward, you're, you're doing something unnatural for your hand, for your fingers to do. Very interesting. Uh, doesn't feel that, that heavy for the, for the size, it's... This one is I think for about 4.8 ounces, something like that. Nice rubber handle, so you have really good grip and the inside and then you have the like kind of plastic, molded plastic. And it's not flow through design. There's that bill uh, there. 4.76, so not that bad for this such huge blade. Not that bad. And uh, last but not least, I'm a sucker for a small knife, so I picked up the back, uh, I think it's called Packlight. Uh, very, very, very sexy looking neck knife. It's not neck knife because it comes with this sheet, but uh, I'm making a uh, Kydex sheet for this one. For neck carry, I'm uh, sending one to one of my buddy from. Uh, who was it? I think it was. Uh, I don't know who was it. One of my buddy from Equipped Endure. I'm gonna send him that sheet. Hope he will like it. Uh, I, I like this knife. It's it's only 428 uh, eight, uh, high carbon steel, but it's supposed to be decent. It came crazy sharp. It's really ridiculously sharp. I couldn't believe how such a cheap knife with such a cheap steel came so sharp. It's uh, and it fits in the hand very nice. If I will manage to make some micarta scales for this, some small nice small ones, kind of like uh, Izula style. It would be amazing little knife, really nice one. I love how it feels. The the blade has nice shape. You have kind of like a jimping all around. I'm curious what can I do with this because I would really like to put those scales on. It would be sexy. And with the Kydex sheet, it would be pretty decent neck knife. And uh, we'll see. It's supposed to not hold the edge really well, but it's supposed to be easy to sharpen. So. Let's see, once we test it a little bit, maybe we do some kind of little series with all those small knives, like Izula, bench, uh, Benchmark, and uh, Mini Pendleton. I'm curious, maybe. Alright, so, you know, just a little showing off <laughs> what, what new came. Really excited about the red one, you know, this is my new knife life. Knife love, sorry about it. Alright, so I'll see you around guys and uh, hopefully we see some reviews soon about these couple new guys, alright? Stay safe out there, take care, bye bye.